Indian Army's four para special forces and 24 Rashtriya rifles have neutralized the three Pakistani terrorists responsible for the Pahalgam terror attack. The DRDO has successfully test fired the Prale shot range ballistic missile at 9:35 a.m. today, during which the 500 km range quasi ballistic missile hit its target with high precision. The Prale missile is mounted on a high mobility vehicle for rapid deployment, and it features mid course maneuverability to evade interception. Pune based firm drone Acharya has launched 7 inch and 10 inch FPV drones that has been successfully tested by the Indian Army in real world combat scenarios in night conditions at high altitude missions above 17,000 feet under GPS jamming. The Indian Army conducted exercise drone Prahar to validate drone integration in battlefield operations under realistic conditions. After the induction of six Apache helicopters, the Indian Army will evaluate their performance before seeking additional orders for 12 or 24 more units. The Indian Army is set to induct the Akash Prime missile system for its 3rd and 4th Akash regiments, that is designed for high-altitude air defense along the northern borders. Haryana-based ANA drone systems has unveiled the 500 km range Abbey Advanced Anti-Radar Decoy Drone, that is designed for swarm operations to counter air defense systems like the S-400 and HQ-16. It features active electronic warfare payloads, chaff dispensers, and variable radar cross-section for enhanced deception. The DRDO is developing a stealthy aquatic aerial system that can seamlessly switch between submerged and aerial modes. It features modular payloads, sonar imaging, and low detectability, for anti-submarine warfare mine detection and surveillance. The Indian Army is set to acquire 126 light utility helicopters, and latest reports indicate that the deal is now in cost negotiations phase. India is in advanced talks with US-based Shield AI to acquire VBAT combat drones for the Indian Air Force under an emergency procurement plan. The initial $35 million deal includes plans for local production via a $90 million joint venture with JSW Defense, and direct imports could begin by mid-2026, with indigenous manufacturing starting by late 2027. In a major development, India has expressed keen interest in procuring the S-500 air defense system, and Russia is eager to offer the S-500 through a government-to-government -government deal that includes technology transfer and co-production in India. Russia has said that this co-production arrangement will enable India to export the S-500 to other prospective customers, by circumventing Western economic sanctions that restrict Russian defense companies in the global market. The DRDO has completed design studies for the Syrian next-generation intercontinental ballistic missile, that will have a range of 12,000 km, possibly extending to 16,000 km depending on payload configuration, and a demonstrator is expected by end of 2025. The next-generation ICBM will feature anti-anti-ballistic missile capabilities, 12 MOF and MOF capability, decoys and chaff to confuse enemy radar and interceptor systems, stealth coatings and electronic countermeasures. The Indian Navy is advancing the design of 9,000-ton Project 77 nuclear attack submarines and Project 76 3,000-ton conventional attack submarines, with both designs expected to be finalized within three years. The DRDO and Naval Design Bureau are collaborating to ensure shared non-nuclear technologies like advanced pump jet propulsion and hypersonic missiles, thereby reducing costs and streamlining development. Today's top 3 comments.